What's up, Rube? It's Little Big Robots here. Uh, gonna do a fun video I've been wanting to do for a while, uh, featuring this, uh, you know, cornucopia of cool little toys. Um, I thought it'd be fun to feature some of my favorite, uh, what you would call army builders. An army builder being, um, a, you know, a, 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 a figure or toy that you could uh, build literally an army with. Um, a lot of people uh, use these kind of toys to make like, uh, you know, giant scenes of destruction, etc., etc. So we have a lot of different scales. Today we're going to be looking at, this is closer to like 160 scale. These guys are close to like 112th. Um, um, these are what they call 5 inch. Of course, that's not a scale. That's closer to... I can't remember what scale that is. For example, um, you have what is roughly getting close to an, an 18th scale. So, you know, somewhere around there. So there's different scales we're going to talk about and different vehicles and why I really, really love these. Let me move this around a little bit and get a little bit of a better view. Okay, so what we have here is this, all, this whole big batch of of buzzes and uh is that izzy i forgot who that is that is um i think that's izzy this is izzy and i think that's izzy as well her mother is this one here which i've talked about the before uh alicia yeah her mom is alicia this is alicia here so that's her mom not to spoil the movie go watch it whatever uh but these guys here these great big wonderful red robots here these things are incredible um, normally this set that comes with this and comes with two of these, it comes with an, uh, an Izzy and a Buzz, right? So you get those three along with some, uh, weapons, some, a whole bunch of weapons and stuff. That is normally around $40 or something like that. It was like 40 bucks. Um, I just kind of ignored it because I knew that all these toys would eventually go on sale. And sure enough on, from Prime Day and early... <laughs> earlier a little bit before prime day um these were literally six bucks for the red robot and the two figures as well as the weapons you get like um oh just extra bits of stuff it's not really important i don't use the weapons so these are just fantastic they do have decent uh posability but you can see the cool details here so if you just um give these a really nice little um wash maybe some Maybe some, um, uh, you know, a little bit more dry brushing or whatever. You know, a little more, more detailing. Um, you'd really see these pop. I'm not sure what this thing is. I don't remember the, the movie well enough where it shoots out. But it doesn't really shoot out. It just kind of comes out. Is that like a secret? I can't... Somebody tell me what that is. They also have little uh, shooty bits that go in there and you squeeze and shoot. I don't really care for those kind of things because they just don't look very good normally. The effects parts. But these, if you think about it, these can obviously fit you know this scale but then you can get down to even some crazy scales if you're to really paint these these are these are 125th scale um joy toy figures you could see that him fitting in there that would totally work for it here's a 112th figure uh fortnite figure you can see that you know something like this is what i call scale agnostic it can really work with anything um it, almost anything it could work with you know Iron Man figures and everything up to about the sizes. You can even use this uh, with your uh, Warhammer 40k figures, um, McFarlane ones. So what's really I found that was really interesting is is the um, applied scratch marks there, the uh, weathering. It, it matches on all of them, which I didn't expect that to happen. I thought maybe there was. I knew that was too fine to be like a hand applied thing. But I would love to see the uh, building process for that, how they how they apply that. I guess the machine just probably hits it up in the mold or what. I don't know. So these guys are fantastic. Then you have these what they call an alpha class. Alpha class are the, is it, that's that large box I've covered before. Um, I'll link it in the uh, in the uh, description. Alpha class is closer to I think a 12 inch figure. I mean a 7 inch figure like from McFarland, which is I think one. What is seven inch? One tenth? One seven? One eighth? One ninth? I can't remember what seven inch scale is. Or seven inch is not a scale. It's a description of the most common. You know, not all the figures are seven inch, so that's not a scale. A scale is a one something. So I can't remember what it is. But this figure was really cool. It came in that pack. But then you were able to get the uh, Izzy Alpha class. This was literally like three dollars. I think some of them might still be on sale. 
um, on Amazon. One of, the, one of the great reasons I love this figure is her face is so good. It's going to be able to be used in so many different... You can pull that face off. In fact, let me show you what I've done with, uh, with the Mother Alicia. If it doesn't knock everything down, which it probably will. I thought this was amazing. <laughs> She's now a space marine. Such a such a great, fantastic face. I absolutely. That's probably I've I, I voted this as one of my favorite action figures. I think of 22. I just absolutely love it. The Alpha class has a little bit more posing and stuff. It's a little bit more uh, flexible. You've got some the 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 when you know the helmet is not just a piece of glass. It actually has detail. The only difference here is they could they have all these great details, but they could really use a good wash or something. Let me see if I can get a better light around. There we go. So um, that's whatever that seven inch typical size is. You could still use these guys alongside any of these. You could just say that's a giant or that's a small person or whatever. Um, you can take off the head, I believe, on these guys. They come with different heads, don't they? I can't remember, but you can take the head heads off pretty easy and replace that with a more realistic head. Buzz is good, but that giant chin just doesn't work, you know, so you could put it, uh, the body looks absolutely normal or standard, a little stylized, so you could use that with a lot of different heads. So that's one plan I have for all of these guys here is I'm going to actually, because these come off really easy, either pull off the heads or just simply paint over the, the face shield here um, and, and, you know, make it where you can't see through it, maybe paint it black or gray or silver or something like that. And then you just have kind of generic army person. And then here's the, uh, her, her thing. I'm going to probably get two or three more of these if they go back on sale. I should have grabbed them while I could because this is a fantastic figure. The armor, you could, you know, you'd have to cut it off, but you'd probably look better without the armor on. Pull that head off, put it on another figure. One thing I'm trying to do now, let me see if I can find him. Where, here he is. So this one I'm attempting to actually cut apart. There's not really an easy way to do it. If I could pull that apart and pull that head out and everything, it would be fantastic to have um, her head in there like it's a suit of armor, like an Iron Man style suit of armor. The main issue is this: the skirt here is kind of too skinny for human legs, so I'm thinking you could put um, some additional armor or something over there to kind of hide that, because without without seeing that skirt, you could see somebody actually fitting in there. It's not huge, like it's not so much larger than a figure, but it would still be an impressive set of armor, or you could use one of these smaller size, which I think these are 4 inch, closer to 118 scale. So you could see her. Wouldn't that be cool if you had that head removed, had it folded back maybe, and I had her head and shoulders out of there like she's inside there like like the Hulkbuster in uh, Avengers, you know, just a really, really... I mean, there's a ton of good details. These guys alone for the six bucks. I even got uh, two of them for four bucks at one point. Two sets are just fantastic. I, I can't speak well um, highly enough about those. So let me... let me. I'm going to take some of this down. I'm going to show this little skill here, which is really, really neat. I also wanted to give it a quick shout out. This is the Alpha Class Mo, I believe his name is. Mo is one of the characters from another fun figure. The head is not that great, but these heads come off so that you can put the helmets on them. So here's all his weapons here. And you just simply pull that helmet off and place it on there. And you got a pretty, pretty interesting looking figure. So again, quite stylized, but not horribly stylized, but I like stylized. I really, really... I'd rather have a kind of a stylized, realistic thing, kind of like the Buzz movie, rather than just an absolute realistic one that just doesn't have any fun to it. So let's put Mo in there. This guy was cool. He was around $2. This would be a great, great army builder for, like, you know, cops or, um, you know, like basic army dudes or whatever. This is a really, really fun little um, thing here. And then this one here is a... I can't remember what it's called... But it's a bit more of a fancier one. They're normally thirty to forty dollars. It has a little bit more it can do. It comes with the cool socks and a carrier and everything. It has all the little laser beams and all that. That folds down. A little bit more detail. The head actually comes out. I think you. I can't remember how you pop it out. You pop this off, but you can change the heads out. It comes with a couple of heads and hands. Um, this was on sale for like I wanted to say they were around seven or ten dollars. I should have grabbed some more of these because these are a bit more flexible. A little bit more. Uh, detail, but again, you can see they really need a good wash or something to pop out all those details. So let's get this small scale set up real quick. Okay, what's so cool about these this scale here, this is roughly about 160 scale. It's similar to the size. Let's pull a couple little comparisons down here. 
because these are just amazing. I absolutely love this scale and I'll explain why. This is Rahio. I've talked about a Rahio a million billion times. Rahio is a 160-ish scale building set, building line of like modular toys. You can see that's about the size of the person that stands in there like that. Uh, and these are just, they're just a super fun. These are another army builder I'm going to actually be talking about. They're in my top five as well. Now with all of these things, this is a Fortnite chest you get for two or three dollars. I have most of my really tiny scale people in here. I've got some really ancient ones. That's an original from my original, um, oh, what's it called? Air Raiders? Not Air Raiders. I can't remember what that one is called, but that's an original one from back in the day. But this is a Rahio figure. Um, this is roughly, like I said, 160th scale, and it has posability on almost every, in almost every way that you would, uh, like a normal figure. It's really hard to see all this. I'm sorry, I can't, because I can't. So you can see it goes up and down. Each little leg moves. There's even on some of them, that nowadays, the more modern ones, there's a crunch. I don't know if I have one or not. Let's see. These are uh, war planets, I believe, here. Back in the day, I have some of those. Uh, there's war planets too, but anyway, these are all my small guys. Let's see. Oh, here's a here's one of the Izzy's. Let's see if I can find a new Rahio. I can't find one, but I have something like 40 other Rahio ones to assemble. So they come in different colors. Let's see if I can get that to focus for you. So you got that, and then you. This is what comes with these. This line of toys. So you can see they're roughly about the same line, about about the same size about 160. So what's cool about that is you have like this, which is like a transport vehicle, right? What's great about these is they all have this, they all have screws underneath, so you can literally take these apart for painting. Um, and um, so you typically have the, these figures sitting there just kind of, you know, their legs just splayed out like that. You can also stand them up in certain areas. You can see right there, those little parts there, you can stand those up. Something like this. I forget how they stand. Anyway, they stand in there somehow, right? But with these guys, you can really get in there. So you kind of, I mean, it's hard to do with looking through the camera. So you can really get in there like this, put their legs down, put their legs, their hands up, you know, that kind of thing. And they'll actually sit in there nice and tight. So you can imagine having four or five of those lined up. <clears throat> now, these guys were about, um, I think they were three to four dollars a piece. I saw them, I loved the scale. I knew that they fit the 160th scale. Tons of detail that again, could if you just had a basic wash in there, you'd really, really, they'd really, really pop. But this also um, has a, has a, I'll show you this in a minute. Has a cool ramp that, and then it has a front loading um, seating for the people there. And these seats actually go in there as well. So what I've done is I've taken them apart. You really have to kind of get up in these screws here. There's some underneath the wheels here. You really kind of have to push the wheels aside to get up in there. But once you do, you can take this part off. So this comes off. This, this stays attached. This comes off. These seats I took off once I disassembled this. So you can take the wheels off like that. I took these seats off. I'm going to place the seats in there. And then it'll be more of like a transport, or they normally go in here. So let's say they go there. But now what you have, check this out. Such a fun little option here. This is a 1 in 144 scale. Um, you've seen me talk about this a million times. 30 minutes missions toy. This is actually meant to come out. It's like a little drone. But then I, I, I built it like this guy. I could drive it like that. You could build that up as a little, you know, walking bot. But let's say this, this is how it's all together. You can just take the legs and fold them up like this, and then you could put him here, and he's literally being transported now like that for repair or whatever. It comes down, he pops up, and pops out of there, and you can see that that scale absolutely works with these little 160 toys. Um, what fell off? Oh, his arm. Oh no, lost his arm. Let me grab that. There we go. Um, so this whole line, it, they come with a two pack of these vehicles like this, 
Come with these guys, which I should have got four, because I hate having an uneven number in case we play a game with them or whatever, because I was thinking of using Warhammer rules to play a game with. Um, they're so inexpensive if you haven't picked them up already. Try and grab some, because just th there is a ton of detail in there that you can really mess with on every little... Like, at all, look at all that surface detail that you never, ever would see, because normally the, the car just stays connected like that. <clears throat> Excuse me, stays put together. It even has, like, this luggage rack area. Um, you know, it has this front glass. It, it's just a, it's a transport for all these people. You could have, you could have, what, 16 people in there or something like that. Um, and it, because they come apart with screws, you can easily uh, customize them. You can also use the Reheal kits. They could be folded up, you know, like this or whatever and for transport. So they could be sitting there like that. Um, this one was interesting, I thought. You could even do this. Have this guy here, and maybe have it might be way too much, but you know you might have some kind of little transport like that, or parts or whatever. It's it's just so so good, so good. So this line, uh, it's not really all one line. This is called the um, Light Speed series, I think. They also come with the the ships that I've posted before. There's all these uh, planes and and jets that fit these 160 scale, 160 ish scale figures. You can see they're they're only have uh, like three points of articulation, but still. Um, so they have jets and like all the ships from the from the movie. You can get those for three and four dollars. Those are all really good. I'm not a big jet person because you can't really po pose them on the shelf. You have to have like stands and stuff. Um, so that's kind of like the light speed, I believe, series, something like that. This is a different scale. This is called the um, what was that one called? Uh, Alpha class. Ooh, boy. This is called like the Alpha Class, or like a seven inch more detailed. But when you combine them all together, you really basically only have two real scales to worry about. You have the larger scale and the smaller scale. Because the larger scale, you can have, you know, different different uh, uh, people kind of hanging out together because you could have different uh, heights and stuff like that. But anyway, that is just a quick look, uh, a, a cursory look at the amazing uh, Lightyear series of toys. They have a giant base that was on sale for $25. Tons of stuff. So if you have a chance to go pick some... Oh boy, somebody wants in my room. <laughs> if you have a chance to go pick up some of this stuff, do it. Especially this scale. Because this scale is so fun because you can have a whole army of little 160 scale people running around on, on a tiny little shelf. It's just really, really fun. So anyway, uh, that's number five. I'm going to move on to number four soon.